Can you make it on Electrify America? You find out in this video. Okay, all packed and ready to head back to Boston. Great trip. Something like 800 miles on the clock now with uh, 700 and something for local or for highway driving here and then uh, local driving over the last few days. Gonna head back, make a stop at a whole bunch of Electrify America chargers along I-80, different route through Pennsylvania this time. Um, a lot less in the way of level two charging, so not too many backups, um, but that's okay. I'm pretty confident in Electrify America at this point price is high we know this the comments always reflect that and i understand but uh, they're gonna probably get us across most of pennsylvania so it's gonna be a good trip different trip different sites to the previous video which will be up hopefully by the time i post the second return trip but uh, we're gonna get on the road see some sites see some charging stations which is exciting for me um and hopefully you and we'll see how we go thanks for watching I-71 South to I-80 East. Been a long time since I made this trip. We used to live in New York City, so it was a frequent visit, but that was in ICE rental cars, which were no fun to drive. This is very different, much more fun, and I'm excited to be doing it for the first time in an electric vehicle. on the road again. This might be one of the new uh, software. This looks different to the Fredonia session, so this could be interesting. Let's pop it off and take it. halfway taper. 
so that's why it's 37, 38 kilowatts plugged into the 350 kilowatt machine. Possible downside here, unless you want to eat at the Waffle House or Macca's. I suppose the sheets. People eat at sheets sometimes. But uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot here. This is much more of a kind of gas station stop. Turn left onto the I-80 East Ramp. Pennsylvania we take a look at the plan um, just to stop at Dubois in the middle here charge stop 2 uh, that's an Electrify America site we also stopped really briefly at this coming soon Clarion Electrify America site which is now under construction um, and you can see the lack of level 2 here we are stopping overnight in Dubois but there's no destination charging there so our second stop of the journey is a Another Electrify America site on I-80 East, or just off I-80 East here, in Dubois, Pennsylvania. Or if you're Google Maps, Dubois, très bien. Let's take a stop here, see how much we need, and what it costs again. the new software update looks to be on these as well the same one we saw in Girard Ohio so let's see a little bit easier with this being on the side here click straight in the payment screen here is a little more detailed than it was on the previous software I think it's not good okay. take two Okay, moving units. We were trying on the second from last over there. I'm gonna try on this one, 150 kilowatts. Shouldn't make a difference, but you never know. Got the click, got the orange light. Payment was authorized on the previous one. Must have been something on the 
software side. Payment authorized again. Sounds like it's firing up. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Unfortunately, this was a screen I saw several more times and after a call with customer service um, on several different units, managed to get this next session that we'll see here on time lapse starting up. Did give us some juice. Unfortunately, as we got further into the session, I got a notification that the charge had stopped, which will show you at the end of here. And uh, it gave us enough miles, but at this point it was uh, just so many errors and so many moves that I was frustrated and decided it wasn't worth the effort to continue to charge here. So further down the road in State College, Pennsylvania, there are a couple of fast chargers, and that's where we'll take on the next leg of the journey. So not a great experience at Dubois, Pennsylvania, suffice it to say. Um, we need some redundancy there so that the Clarion site can act as a backup or this one can act as a backup to that, but uh, it was my first and probably only super negative experience with Electrify America so far. So yeah, not such a great charge there. Um, struggled to get them started with service. Um, Alicia was very helpful, I appreciate all the service, but uh, only made it to about 40% state of charge. It's enough to uh, move on to a Sheets or a Chevy dealership in State College, but possibly an indication that some of these units aren't ready for prime time. We tried every There we go then. Plan A out of the question to head to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania for Electrify America's second site there. Uh, so we had the detour to State College to head to a green lot charger down there. Benefit is this is complimentary. Downside is it takes us 15, 20 miles outside of our way. But here we go. Quickly. That's where we are. Let's see what we get. And it's free. Take that, Electrify America. What a great unit this is. Completely free. Lots of stuff around. Shops up that way. 
sheets, coffee may or may not be good, but either way, we've been fed, watered, gone to the restroom, maybe half an hour here, and we're pretty close to 80%. There's going to be plenty to take us on to Bloomsburg, and uh, the second chance for Electrify America to redeem itself. We will see. side fast start up rate right away on the downside these things keep turning off stopping sessions that one didn't work the one on the end worked for 10 minutes this one seems to be stuck on Chadamo we've got some software work to do electrify America Another case here where we just have to go past 80%. 81, 181 miles to the next journey, next destination. 82% is worth 183, so we need about 85. We'll definitely leave before the 90% taper. We're not going to be those people, but we could definitely do with another station in between here and Connecticut. Oh well, good enough for now. We stopped the charge here then at 86% and a little over 190 miles on the gasometer. That's enough to take us through to an EVgo station in Carmel, New York, which will be the final charging stop on the way back through to Boston. I didn't really take a look at the costs here, to be honest, because the Electrify America pricing is going to change very soon with the introduction of the new app. So everything will change and we've covered the costs in previous videos. Um, the free charge at the green lots unit also helped to offset the more expensive premium pricing of this current period so the next stop is uh, 115 miles we'll see here to the state line and then also 180 miles through to the next evgo location and that's where we'll rejoin the journey here
So for Electrify America's reference, this is what it should be as a charge stop. We should plug it in, it should start up, and it should go for the duration of our meal. It should not shut off and send you a warning that you need to leave in 10 minutes or they'll charge you extra for accidentally shutting off your charge. Um, but we ate over in the plaza, came back just as it shut off, 45 minutes, perfect amount of time. And then you charge, we'll get to 80% just as we're ready to go. That's how it should be. Clearly then it got dark here and there's not too much more usable footage I can show you, but the underlying question, can you get across Pennsylvania from Ohio to New York on Electrify America alone? Well, not really. We had to go out of our way to go down to that green lot to get a backup charge. And while the stations were there and they did give us some charge in each session, they were fraught with bugs. Uh, we're stopping and starting. It's just not the way you want to travel. So we still have some way to go. I applaud the build out and everything that they're doing, but there's still a lot of kinks to work out before we can rely on them for getting long journeys in shorter amount of time. Bottom line, we can get from Boston to Cleveland and Cleveland to Boston with the fast charging we've got and it's uh, not without its issues, but we got there and it wasn't too long. Good times.